you will go to the visual studio now in this component we need to make the changes to update the data right if we check the button for editing this is the button that we are using right but this is the button that we are using for saving the data as well so what we'll need to do is we'll need to make the changes on this button functionality only on submit is the function that is being used for that button click and now i need to add a check which can make sure that either the user is trying to edit the record or save the record so we already have made the changes for these two variables to verify if the user is trying to edit or update so we can take any of these i'll take the bool one and over here if this is true at that time i should edit otherwise i should just save the record and that save functionality is already working through post method okay now over here in this if we need to have the functionality for put so i can just take the help of this code we are trying to call the put method the api url remains the same we'll be passing the customer details only because this is set through this function when we are trying to update the data and we can just update this message and then we are closing the dialog box as soon as we click on the ok for the alert box so this is also perfect i'll just save it and we'll go to the browser now on the ui i'll click on edit for this record and i am updating the phone number again let me give it a different value so that it is easier to remember okay it's starting with 3625 i click on update and it's not updating over here but let's just verify on the db ones this is the old value i click on execute again so we are getting the new value over here that means the api is working perfectly but it's not showing on the ui over here let's just check the code now customer dialog box component we are sending the event as closed in the customer component when we were opening for adding we were receiving it got it that over here we are not receiving the result because in open customer dialog we have been receiving the result we are checking if the event is closed then we are refreshing the table so this statement we have to just take and add over here in model reference dot result dot then we have got the result from customer dialog box component then we are checking if the event is closed then we are refreshing the table save it we'll go to the browser again now over here we are seeing the refresh data because after saving the page always reloads right so now just let me click on edit and give it a new value this one only and then click on update so it says this is updated now and now we are seeing the new value over here so this is working perfectly fine now if i have the old value i click on edit enter some new information and it is updated successfully over here so the table is also getting refreshed as soon as i am clicking on update over here and for the add also if we are adding a new customer then we don't have this text box disabled and the button displays add only so i hope all of you have understood the crud operations that we have completed for inventory 
and customer component we did some ui enhancements as well and some additional features that we have given to the application to make it perfect for the end user now this was the last video for this particular application will be coming out with a new application soon thank you